the world of ungodly options the world of ungodly options turn your bibles with me to the book of acts chapter 4 verse 11 to 12 the book of acts chapter 4 verse 11 to 12 the bible says this is the stone which was rejected by the builders which has become the chief cornerstone nor is there salvation in any other for there is no other if the bible is yours can you underline those two words no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved wow wow there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved I believe that Peter was talking about Jesus praise be to God but in the 21st century there are so many options <laughs> are you following me today are you following me today and these options have infiltrated into the, the aspect of walking with Christ amen and so many other people that say that if I go to church then it means I'm saved or if I, if I do something in church then it means I'm saved we try to find other options that makes us feel saved but there is no other name praise be to God somebody would say there are other religions that leads to God postmodernistic thinking postmodernism says that every religion leads to God and it will surprise you that many sit in the body of Christ and believe in those things many sit in the body of Christ with the, with the misconception of love they, they misconstrue love with tolerance and they accept the fact that Islamic religion and Baha'i religion or Buddhism and Hinduism all those ism, isms all leads to God praise be to God and so that is why it has become a difficult aspect for believers to evangelize because in this world of the living there is so many options for us to choose from many many options for us to choose from many people will choose not to go to church many people will choose not to pray to any other name but to say I'm praying to God thinking that when I'm praying to God then it means I'm saved are you following me so because of these many options we have many options in choosing cars in those days it's just one type of a car ask Mr. Ford he will tell you it was just one type of a car that has a big uh, those kinds of uh, big um, headlights no power steering you have to put all your power into it no cassette player no it was radio amen no remote control popping off the, the hood and popping the trunk we have so many options either you will use the remote or you, will, you would want to use the key so because we live in the world of options of today every time we try to pick and choose the walk with God which one works better which one feels better which one looks good but there is no other way there is no other way through which a man could be saved well I'm a Catholic I go to church I go to church are you a Jehovah witness I, I go to church don't worry about that I, I, I go to church I'm a Catholic so we choose the options to become religious putting a badge on our chest praise be to God 
And because we live in so many world, uh, we live in the world of options, I would choose to sit at home, not go to church and do some um, television uh, church. Or better still, internet church. Because we live in the world of what? Options. But we forget that the options does not change how the word of God has been spoken. What has been spoken is still the same way. And it will be the same way. It will never change for you because of your options. Are you following me?